Hi guys, this is Brian Ernst with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky where all RVs are for sale by owner. You deal direct with the owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2006 Four Winds Chateau 31F double slide class C motorhome. Overall, it's in great shape. Uh, there are a few little scratches and dents uh, that I'll show you. Overall, uh, definitely a good little classy motorhome. Owner says they put new tires on them on this coach. Uh, and uh, do you know the fronts? I saw the DOTs, they were 2011. Michelins, all Michelins. There is uh, something I noticed on the coach. It's a little chip. I'm gonna let the owners know about that. See if they can get the glass doctor out there, out here, and uh, possibly fix that. I do check for delamination, especially these Class C's. They're notorious for uh, separating and bubbling real bad right here and in the front, especially the ones that have the front window. Uh, those are notorious for leaking. But uh, I did check for bubbling on the sidewall. I didn't find any issues. Uh, there was one uh, little bubble and it's not on the sidewall here, it's down at the fender by the skirt here. And it's not bad. Uh, I always say in my videos, if I notice something like this, if, if, if I didn't point it out to you, you probably wouldn't notice it. But uh, seems to be a little D-lamb right here. Uh, but uh, it's just the skirt area. The, area that's a big concern is looking for D-Lamb in the sidewall and I didn't find any issues but optional entertainment uh, system stereo CD Awning's a little bit dirty, just needs to be cleaned up. The owners just took it out of storage. They actually store it at Louisville Underground, and that's where it stays when they're not using it. So this coach has always been stored in, indoors, uh, away from the elements, but it's about a 22, 20, 20 to 22 foot awning, largest you can get. Michelin's. Got the slide out awning package. As I said, it's a little dirty. Um, uh, the only thing they were able to do uh, since the snow melted, they were able to get it out of Louisville storage and they took it to a truck stop to get it washed. So it hadn't been detailed or anything. So this is uh, pretty much just a, a hose job uh, just to clean it up for the video. All the decals are in great condition. Ladder, I think, was an option on this model. Does have the backup camera. Nice uh, uh, rear window. Uh, a lot of Class C's won't have the rear window. So. This does have a 5,000 pound rated uh, hitch receiver on the back.
30 amp service. Outside shower, hot and cold running water. Um, your, your holding tanks, I uh, believe they, they are uh, heated and enclosed. So you can go extended seasons in this coach uh, to where most class C's you definitely can't go uh, because the holding tanks won't be protected from the elements. This is definitely not an entry level class C. This was a higher end class C. Uh, in 2006, I think this thing ballpark it retailed for uh, 80 to 85,000 with the with the options that it had on it, especially with your awning package, entertainment package. Show you the generator here. It's the Onan 4000. This was an option. Uh, I think you got a, a Generac was standard, but the Onan 4000 was an option on the 2006 Chateaus. Mileage is 47,000. So I went running for answers until I came home. To Pippa Butterfly doesn't remind me of other contemporary hip hop albums so much as the musicals of Melvin Van Peebles. Both Fat Playwright and this MC invite us into noisy conversations between eccentric characters debating personal triumphs and social failures, black love, white hate. All under the looming shadow of America. I mean, it's evident that I'm irrelevant to society. That's what you're telling me. Penitentiary would only hire me. Curse me till I'm dead. Curse me with your fake prophesies. And then I'm a be just another slave in my head. This is what shit don't lie. But the relation is lies. Power windows. Power locks. Power heated mirrors. Again, I do check for D-Lamb on the sides here and on the front on Class C's. This is the E450 chassis, uh, uh, Ford Triton V10. This is the six gallon gas electric uh, direct spark ignition water heater. Does have the power step. I believe that was an option. Uh, you won't find power steps on a lot of Class C's. It will be a manual step or no step. All the carpet throughout the coach is in great condition back in the bedroom and in the living room area. Uh, it's not worn out or anything like that. All the linoleum is in great condition. I did check the uh, floor uh, around all the plumbing in the bathroom for soft spots, didn't find any issues. I did check around the slide outs for any wrinkling in the wallpaper. 
uh, which normally shows the sign that it's been leaking and I didn't find any issues with that. I believe that's a six cubic foot gas electric water heater. And most of them are preset to where you can adjust this. Uh, a lot of them don't have the, uh, where you can adjust the temperatures. Nice raised wood panel doors. Boot dinette breaks down into a bed. Uh, you can sleep uh, two adults. Uh, there is one thing on this table. Uh, the original leg broke and they took it to a dealer. And I'm not going to name the dealer, but uh, a dealer actually did this. They put this piece of wood uh, as a fix and I guess you could stain it and it would be fine. But anyway, uh, you do have seat belts for safety driving down the road. Uh, the only issue really on the inside, uh, I'm real particular, but uh, there is a tear in the ultra vinyl couch, two of them. And uh, honestly, um, you could put a cover over it and cover it up, but uh, this does make into a bed. It's a jackknife, like a futon, where the back and bottom lay down. I think it's a 27 inch flat screen. It is a flat screen. It's not the old uh, tube kind because in 06, most of them were the tubes, the old TVs, but uh, they did upgrade the TVs to flat screen, flat panels, LCDs. I do check. On Class C's, I always check the corners. Uh, I check all cabinets actually in the corners of any RV, but on Class C's, definitely take a close look. Uh, always look up in the corners, make sure there's no wrinkling, any warping in the side, in the wallpapers, and I didn't find any issues. Lots of storage. Looks like they have home theater surround sound speakers throughout the coach. does have day night shades a lot of your class C's are only going to have the the night shades but these are day and night oh, I just track mud in here Three burner cooktop, it's pretty much never been used. Oven, pretty much never been used. Foot flush porcelain toilet. Most of your manufacturers on Class C's were offering in 2006. A lot of them would have a plastic toilet. That is the porcelain residential uh, foot flush. Does have glass enclosed shower, garden shower. Most of your Class C's had the uh, curtain with the little plastic tub.
I will show you uh, there's a little spot on the door that I'll show you here in a second walk around bed day night shades in the bedroom area all throughout the coach uh, it looks like the old TV I'm sorry that is the old TV in the bedroom This does have the soft touch vinyl ceiling. It's not the Luan, um, the, the boarded white board that normally you see on the ceilings, definitely in a class C. Uh, the soft touch vinyl was definitely uh, uh, higher end than uh, what you normally see on a class C. A lot of high-end features on this coach on the Chateau line that they offered actually and uh, that you would normally see in a diesel pusher so uh, this definitely was not an entry-level class C. If you're interested in seeing the coach just call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner. Uh, if you have any questions uh, that number will also get me and I'll be more than happy to answer any uh, questions you have on it. Hope you enjoyed the video.